City of Rock State Park. This is going to be awesome. We are going to spend four or five days here on our way to our next destination. The car is officially warmed up. We're going to go this way though. I'm just gonna show you this awesome place. These campsites are $10 a night. And there are hot showers here. It is a bit of a walk. Look at this one. This is the one that I stayed at with Beth back in 2021. Isn't that cool? Let me pop you off the tripod here. I'll just show you. They have a cool little setup. Oh, and there's the sunshine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drive around here, and I'm going to show you the other side of City of Rocks. So here's another pit toilet here, and off to the left is another camping area. City of Rocks. Um, these are the rocks behind my campground, my camp spot, and uh, we have the sunset happening over these rocks. Oh my god, do you hear that? Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Brightness looks big Where you're going Truth cannot be hid You gotta get going 
gotta get going Easy now Be hard working So you can be deserving the rest that you are given you gotta slow down and look around you son give a lot and live a little work with what you got If you are wondering at all how to get out of bed tomorrow, please consider this little tree. This tree is growing out of these rocks. Now I know it's not a huge tree, it's not a big tree, but it is growing out of these rocks in New Mexico, in the desert. And nobody told this tree you can't grow here. And even if they did, look at this tree. This tree is growing here. And this tree is thriving magnificently. Okay, there's your there's your inspiration to get out of bed today. Look at that. It's all rock. And the tree is growing out of it. Magnificent. Good job, tree. Good job. <laughs> Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks big. Where you're going, truth.
o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry about the wind. But uh, got my laundry drying. It takes literally four minutes. So uh, we'll see when a gust comes up here. And you can look at those, see how hard it is. Ugh. Okay. So it's an indoor day in the sunshine. Yeah. The inside sitting here. Swivel seat is swiveled. This is my living room. Oh, oh, oh. don't look, it's my laundry. Hi, wind warning for City of Rocks, New Mexico. That would explain previously today my laundry on the line. Let's see, 30 to 45 with gusts over 50. Um, I'm going to say that that's true. Yep, it was a really windy day. And <sighs> Well, it's a very windy morning here at City of Rocks. Sorry about the wind. But uh, this is my backyard today, so I'm just going to take you up into what I call the church rocks. I'll probably cut the sound and add some music here because it's just too windy. So, good morning. Starting from scratch Brick by brick No path carved out for us now The brush is thick All I'm asking now Don't give up been enjoying my morning meditation on this rock right here with uh, let me flip you around with this gorgeous view of sunrise <laughs> trying to see if you can see my breath 
Uh, it was 50 mile an hour winds yesterday and <laughs> um, I got my laundry dried in, oh, three minutes and uh, I swiveled the seat in the Honda Element and just tucked inside, had a nice salad and a cup of soup and um, some tea and just caught up on some of my shows on Hulu and uh, today I was going to spend one more night here but there's a hot springs nearby and I'm telling you that just sounds amazing like they're just up the road so I'm going to get camp packed up which sounds silly because all it is is just packing up my chair. It got blown around last night. I did make a quick beeline from Florida to get to New Mexico because I knew that there was just these fabulous spots um, to hang out at and what I love about these places is civilizations for thousands of years like maybe even aliens have inhabited these areas and you can feel the old soul energy and if you believe in geomantic empathy which you can google it but what it means is having a physical emotion or feelings from the space that you're in and I just feel like this area is so healing and just supportive to me and, and my emotions, my mental state, my soul. I just love it here. So now I'm going to take my cold little bones and ninth, then we're going to go and find a new spot over at the hot springs. So I'll see you, I'll see you there next. Okay. God, this wind is cold, but check out this view. Isn't this cool? Oh my gosh. I love this. I just love this. <laughs> My naughty mind says, oh, it's petrified dinosaur poop. <laughs> I'm such a child. I'll never grow up. <sighs> okay, where's ninth? Oh, God, now i got to find ninth. <laughs> ninth! Ninth, where are you? <laughs> Hopefully she's through here. Okay. I think she's down here. Oh my gosh, that wind is so cold. Oh. oh, yeah. I have to say one thing about uh, clambering around on these rocks. It's uh, it's kind of yoga. It's it's good for your agility and uh, core strength and all that good stuff. Oh, there she is. There's the blue chair. There's the blue chair. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's ninth. Okay, I'm gonna grab the blue chair and let's get out of here. So we'll grab the blue chair. It's much windier on this side. I think it's cause it's colder. Ugh. And I need to grab my mat. Oh, I also need to swivel my chair. Maybe there is a little bit more to packing up camp today. Okay, hang on. It's a pooper and a cooler. I'm going to fill up my water before I go to my next spot, too. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Water's full. 
probably could have got water at the next spot too, but I don't know. I just thought I would do that. I kind of take care of that stuff whenever I can because you just never know where you want to touch down for a while and not move. And it's always good to just have drinking water on board and water for doing my dishes. So that's what I was doing. Aren't these cool? I mean, ugh. <laughs> I get so giddy when I wake up in the morning here and I look out my window and I'm like, yay, I'm at City of the Rocks. I was talking to one of the volunteers in the office and um, asking him how he liked uh, working here because you can do volunteership here and get free a free place to park and live and then in exchange you work 20 hours a week and the reason I was so curious about it was because they're all so happy in such a good mood they're always smiling and joking with each other and it was like I want to work with people like that so he said to me, he goes, well, the park ranger is going to be back in the office pretty quick here. And if you want to chat with him, you know, you're welcome to do that. And I was thinking, you know, this might be a good thing to do where I, when, if I'm coming across country again, I could touch down here. You can do two months, four months or six months, I think, and spend a couple months here as like a home base. Because there are so many, like every state, there's just so many things to see. And it's nice to have a home base to do it from. Away we go to the hot springs. I was thinking 
about that too. Like, oh, when I get out of the hot spring, I don't have my house coat with me. I mean, I have a summertime house coat. So I'm going to have to figure that all out once I get, uh, I get to my camp spot there. But let's go back to my camp spot here and we'll make, we'll make some brunch. Okay, we're back at home, Pisces. This has been home for the last five days. Let's make some brunch. As you can see from up there, I don't even know if you can see me, I have every single blanket on board of the ninth element right now deployed and on my bed. And oh my God, I slept hard and warm last night. Oh, it's so windy here. Oh. Well, but that doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna have a nice, oh, let me see if you can see my face too. <laughs> We're gonna have a nice, warm brunch today. There we go. English muffin. Oh, sorry about the wind. Oh my goodness, okay. So today's breakfast, I'm gonna toast my English muffin. I've got garden cream cheese. I'm gonna slice up some red onion, some tomato, and some cucumber and then put some ham on it. This is gonna be so good, but it's so windy, so bear with me. Okay, first things first, gonna use my fantastic Kun by Rockon Peeler. And um, I just wanna peel off the skin of the cucumber. I don't like the skin. This is an organic cucumber, but I still don't like the skin. No, it's gonna be too windy for the stove, so. <laughs> my fancy dancy windscreen that I used around my stove. Okay, we had to do a set change there, so <laughs> uh, this had to figure out which direction the wind was coming from. So let's get the burner going. All right, get it hot. And that's all tucked in there out of the wind. Let's get this English muffin cut open and into the pan. This is a great way to have toast on the road. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is going to work. Peel the cucumber. That seems to be heating. And then I like to do very thin slices of cucumber. The tomato. Nice thin slices of tomato. You know, even though it's windy, I am warm. You know, I've got on thermal pants and I have a thermal shirt on and my puff jacket and you know, I'm, I'm warm. And it's warm in the sunshine. No bad days, only bad gear, remember? Right? It's my slogan. Now for the red onion. If you don't have a windscreen for your stove, you're screwed. I do have um, a little 12 volt electric kettle that I can boil water for. I don't really, I don't actually have any instant meals on board. I have like a cup of soup and. Um, and noodles, and those are those are typically the types of things. And I'll and I'll have hot tea when the weather's really bad. That's usually my go-to for those times. Okay, so we have now we have all of our toppings. Let me just get the plate here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Those are all of our toppings for the English muffin. Let me just bring you over and show you the English muffin. No, oh, it's toasting. Oh, she's burning. <laughs> Let's warm up the other side. You want to warm up both sides. <laughs> the wind is the wind is picking up. Okay. So these, yeah, those are toasted. Let's shut this off. Let's open up some of the ham here. Look at that. Toasted perfect. Garden spread, cream cheese, lots of schmear. Schmeared up, baby. Oh, we need a little more. Some red onion. Love the red onion. I love onion. And then some cucumber. And then I'm going to put some ham. 
Okay. And then some tomato. Oh. Look at that. Ah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Love it. Well, let me make up the other one. I'm going to sit up in the driver's seat, the cockpit of ninth, <laughs> and eat my muffin. And by the time I've done all this, it'll be time to check into the hot springs. Mmm. Mmm. These are missing something. Huh, what are they missing? Hang on, hang on. Can you can you guess what it is? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some pepper. Whoop! It's blowing away in the wind. <laughs> oh, party foul. Some pepper and some pink salt. Ooh, it's blowing away in the wind. <laughs> now I can have breakfast. Okay, everything's everything's all tucked in. I gotta make sure that I lock these drawers <laughs> because if I do not lock them, they will bang around and hit this back gate and it just it drives me bonkers, so Okay, put our towel back in place. Paper towel. Oh my goodness, I am looking forward to snacking on this. I've got water up front. <laughs> Cockpit breakfast. It's too cold to eat outside. Um, it's almost time to go and check in to the hot springs. Mmm. I totally recommend that you try this. Just all the flavors just mm, burst in your mouth. Um, it's easy to assemble. When it's cold like this, I am drawn to carbohydrates and like pasta, muffins, bagels, toast. For me, that's like, that's the firewood. That's the firewood that fuels my body. You know, that's what helps burn the fire inside my body. So I'm, I'm going to eat this and then... I'm going to take us back to the hot springs. Mm. Another thing about living at 5,500 feet in the desert and when it's windy, I am drinking half a gallon of water a day. You know, I also have kombuchas on board, like kombucha fizzy waters and things like that. Um, but dehydration, man, like it shows up in my lips and... And in, in my nose and my face and stuff like that. Mm. So yes, I drink two, two if not four of these a day. Yeah, so stay hydrated, kids. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's one of the vinyl stickers. Mm. Bougie. Okay, finish my breakfast. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Ooh. 